Good morning everyone, welcome to Families Online. It's fantastic to have you join us this morning. Hope you've had a brilliant week back at school and you've been enjoying this wonderful sunshine. So today Jess is going to be sharing our word with us and we're going to be looking at how we are children of God. And we're going to have some worship and we'll have a challenge later on. But first we are going to share our thanksgivings. So have a little think, what is it that you're really thanking God for at the moment? And pop it in the chat. Thank you so much for sharing your thanksgivings. It's so encouraging to hear about what God is doing around us. So we're going to continue praising God through worship in just a moment. But first, um, for the today's challenge, you are going to need something that will mark out a line on the ground. So I've got some string. You might be able to use some stationery. Um, or a doorway would also work for this, where there's a line across the floor. Um, but more on the challenge later on. For now, we are going to um, jump up and worship God together. Mercy every morning, rising like the dawn. God of all creation, the wonder of it all. You're the song of freedom, you're the only way. And every new beginning is by grace. Up and alive in Jesus, into a life of freedom. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Up from the grave you raised me, out of the darkness save me. Hallelujah, Jesus Savior. You can still the panic, you can break the chains. You're the only healer, the greatest ever name. Through the cross forgiven, and everything has changed. And every new beginning is by grace. Up and alive in Jesus into a life of freedom hallelujah christ is risen up from the grave you raise me out of the darkness save me hallelujah jesus savior You're the only name we're singing, holy, holy, to you the highest praise. Worthy, worthy, you're the only name we're singing, holy, holy, to you the highest praise. Up and alive in Jesus, into a life of freedom, hallelujah. 
Christ is risen up from the grave. You raised me out of the darkness. Save me. Hallelujah. Jesus, Savior, up and alive in Jesus, into a life of freedom. Hallelujah. Christ is risen up from the grave. You raised me out of the darkness. Save me. Hallelujah, Jesus, Savior. Hi everyone, today we are thinking about the fact that we are children of God, that He is our Father in heaven and He loves us and He cares for us because He's our Dad. And so I'm going to read a few verses from the Bible that just talks a bit about the fact that we are His children and then we'll have some questions and chat and catch. So it says this, The Father God has loved us so much he loves us so much that we are called children of God and we really are his children. But the people in the world don't understand that we're his children because they don't know him. Friends, now we are children of God. We've not yet been shown what will be in the future, but we know that when Christ comes again, we will be like him. We will see him as he really is. Christ is pure, and every person who has this hope in Christ keeps himself pure, like Christ. So we are God's children. He loves us so much that he has chosen to call us his children, which means he loves us, and he knows us, and he cares for us, and he wants the best for us. And so we're going to have some questions in the chat now. Um, to just have a little bit of a think about what it means to be children of God.
Well, thank you so much for joining in with those questions. We are going to go into some chat and catch now. We're going to spend some time with God. And so I'd love you to find a comfy position, maybe lying down, maybe sitting. Um, and I want you to close your eyes because we're going to imagine something first. So close your eyes and if you want to, you can put your hands out in front to say, I'm ready to catch from you, God. Whatever you find is the best way to not be distracted and be able to listen to God. And to start with, I want us to imagine that God as our dad. Not our earthly dad, but a perfectly perfect heavenly dad. And often when I'm praying, I imagine God as big and powerful, maybe sometimes a bit scary. But actually, God is our dad. And so I want you to imagine that you're spending time with your dad. Maybe you want to imagine that you're sitting on God's lap. Or maybe God's giving you a hug. Or maybe you're playing outside with him. But as we, as we chat and catch now, I want you to imagine not God as someone big and powerful on a cloud in the sky, but like a dad, someone who's close and friendly and loving. So I want you to think about all the things that your parents do to show you that they love you. Things like cooking you dinner or hugging you, looking after you when you're hurt, or playing with you. You need to tell God a few of those things now. And all those things that you thought of, and talk God about that. All things that God does as well. And he does even more than that because he is our heavenly father. And so what I want you to do now is ask God, what are some of the things that he does to show you that he loves you? Now our parents care about us and they want to know what's going on and it's the same with God, he cares about us. And so I want you to spend some time now telling God anything that's on your mind, anything that's worrying you or anything you're excited about, absolutely anything because God cares and he wants to know about everything that's going on in his children's lives. And finally, I want you to ask God, why has he chosen you to be his child? Thank you, God, that you are our dad. Thank you that you care for us, that you love us, that you've chosen us to be your children. Help us to know you with us. Help us to know that you aren't scary or far away, but you're close and loving like a dad. Amen. Amen. Fantastic. We are now going to go into our challenge. Thanks so much, Jess, for sharing that word with us and leading us in prayer. So it's now time for our challenge. So hopefully you've found something that you can use to make a line across your floor. So I've got my string. I'm going to put it down on the floor, make a line. So today's challenge is all about seeing who has the quickest feet. So we're going to have 30 seconds on the clock. 
and you're going to see how many times you can cross over from one side of the string to the other side of the string. So you get one point for being on one side and one point for getting back to the other side. So you've got some quick counting involved. So I'm going to have 30 seconds on the clock and we're going to uh, see who has the quickest feet. So three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. Oh, that is time. Whew. I think I got 65. How many did you manage? We'd love to find out. Pop it in the chat now and we'll see who's got the quickest feet. So that brings us to the end of Families Online today. Thank you so much for joining. Um, don't forget that if you're aged 0 to 5, there are resources online at sdbs.org.uk forward slash families online. Um, and for everyone else, it is time to head over to the main service. So if you click up there, click watch, you'll be able to head on over to there. Um, but thank you so much for joining for us today. And I uh, hope you had a fantastic week. And we'll see you soon. Bye.